School for our 2020 graduation ceremony. My name is Marcel Kalkutsky. It's my privilege to serve as principal here at Beckman Catholic. To begin our ceremony, I would ask our chaplain, Father Tyler Raymond, to deliver our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God of all creation, by your great mercy and providence, we have gathered today to give you thanks and to celebrate the work you have brought to fulfillment in these students, your beloved children. Through the gifts you have given them in your infinite grace and led by the people you have placed in their lives to guide them, they have given you glory by their dedication in their joys and in their struggles. As they prepare to move on from this place into study and work and ministry, near and far, we give you thanks for the gift of Beckman Catholic High School and all the people who have made it fertile ground for the pursuit of academic, personal, and spiritual excellence. May you continue to bless the teachers, administrators, faculty, and staff 
whose devotion to their work has brought our students to celebrate this day. Bless all our families, those gathered here and those supporting from wherever they are for the foundations we build upon and the sacrifices they made in order to give their children this opportunity of Catholic education. Father, bless too the greater community and the parish families that supported these students through these years. May the fruits of all our labors continue to grow. May the class of 2020 always be open to the movement of the Holy Spirit to follow you on whatever paths you lead them. May they build your kingdom of justice and peace in this world. Preach the gospel always with their lives. And may the fire of your love burn forever in the hearts of these men and women, that they may lead and serve as disciples of Jesus Christ in this world and live as saints for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Seniors, you are here with us today as the 54th class to graduate from Beckman Catholic High School. For over 50 years, members of this community have made Catholic secondary education possible. Today, we celebrate that gift as we recognize your achievements. For a while, it didn't look like this celebration was going to be possible. We've had to make many adjustments to have this ceremony today. We are so glad we are able to gather together to celebrate this important milestone in your lives. We thank those who have helped to plan our events and to make today's celebration happen, and for your patience as we've worked to develop and revise plans to make it a reality. Today, you formally bring your K-12 education to a close. You have put in hours of hard work to reach today. However, you did not do it alone. There were many people along the way that helped you achieve this accomplishment. One of those groups of people is your parents. They have been instrumental in helping you to get to today. They've encouraged you, prodded you, maybe some days dragged you out of bed, and prioritized providing you with a Catholic education. Parents, for some of you, this is your first Beckman Catholic graduate, while for others, it's the end of an era. No matter if it's your first or last child to graduate from Beckman Catholic, parents, will you please stand? of the faculty and staff, we appreciate and thank you for sending your children to Beckman Catholic and for providing us the opportunity to help form these young men and women as disciples today and saints for eternity. Thank you. <laughs> Class of 2020, as your motto, you pick the following quote from St. Catherine of Siena. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your heart on fire. We live in a time where it is very easy to be consumed by fear. There are great unknowns with many unanswered questions. We do not know what the next week, month, or the, what the future as a whole will bring. Your motto from St. Catherine reminds us that we have a choice. We can choose to let fear consume us or we can persevere following our passions and the vocation to which God calls us. Live your motto as you move into the next phase of your lives. Be fearless and may your hearts be on fire as you blaze a trail, pursuing the plans God has in store for you. May those who interact with you see your love for God through all you do. Today marks the end of one phase of your life and the beginning of another. Today, you leave the halls of Beckman Catholic for the last time as students and now become alumni. I wish you nothing but success, and I look forward to hearing about and seeing how you live your fearless lives. Class of 2020, congratulations. Beckman Catholic High School presents the valedictorians of the class of 2020. Sean Kleesner is the son of Bill and Cheryl Kleesner of St. Boniface Parish. Next year, Sean plans to attend Iowa State University for Mechanical Engineering. Evan Schlarman is the son of Tracy and David Schlarman from St. Paul Parish. Next year, Evan plans to attend Iowa State University for Computer Engineering. Evan, please come forward.
Thank you, Mr. Kalkowski, for the introduction. School board members, graduates, family members, and staff, it is honored to be a part of this celebration, the graduation ceremony of the Beckman Catholic High School of 2020. Well, we did it. We all accomplished one of the major milestones of our lives, high school graduation. Congratulations. This is a major step in our journey, one that should be recognized for its immense significance. It is an act of not only personal commitment, but also one of pride. We all worked hard to get to this day and our work will not go to waste. A high school diploma is a wonderful asset in this world, one that opens many doors of opportunities. It is our choice to take these opportunities and to build off of them. But we have to remind ourselves that graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part of a larger journey in life. Whenever your future takes you, let it take you somewhere. Life is a journey and all accomplishments we achieve during its course should be taken as starting points for further achievements. Our graduation should serve as a kickoff, projecting us to where our futures are meant to take us. Whether we establish ourselves a career, take up a trade or continue our own education. And we don't have to stop there. Our high school graduation has already shown us how capable we all are of accomplishing our own goals when we commit ourselves to them. I hope all of us here today can take this personal accomplishment as an example of how anything is truly possible when we put our minds to it. As we continue on our own journeys, let us take each obstacle on with confidence knowing that we have established great heights and are equipped with necessary tools to tackle our own futures. Many of these tools have been provided and shown to us by the faculty and staff at Beckman. We would not have been able to achieve our bountiful accomplishments without the faculty and staff that compose the foundation of Beckman Catholic. On the behalf of our graduating class, I would like to extend a special thanks to the faculty and staff for providing us with unwavering guidance and ample support. Even though our senior year may have ended abruptly, it was filled with many memories that will last a lifetime. From playing sports, being in musicals, and our own experiences in the class, we all have had memorable, memorable, memorable moments during our final year. It is those moments that we will cherish when we start on our own new journeys. Now, after today, we may move on, but we will never forget the time we spent here at Beckman Catholic. Again, congratulations to the graduating class of 2020 and to our parents and families who are celebrating with us today and who will be cheering us on on our next journeys. Class 2020, we're officially out of here. Dear Beckman Catholic, it seems like just yesterday we were beginning our journey with you, just like many other classes before us. After taking countless back to school pictures with our parents, we left for our first day here at Beckman Catholic. We had just walked in, all dressed up in our fresh khakis and polos, and tried to figure out our way around the U. We were greeted by the friendly staff and teachers as we asked what room our next class in, was in and hoped that we would not be tardy on our first day. You meant to us a lot over the past years, but after that first day, we saw you as just a building where we went to school. Eventually, we found our way around the halls um, and became more comfortable with everybody and made our first friends. We began to be active in our first sports and tried out new activities that had the name Beckman Catholic Blazers written across our chest. We found success in these activities and soon made our very first memories with you. Soon you became more than just a building, but rather a place where we got to hang out with our new friends while trying out the, all these new opportunities. As we moved on through junior high, we got a taste of what high school was like. We actually had homework, more responsibilities, and our first taste of finals. Classes were getting tougher. Also, we began to push the limits of having fun in class. We tried to make, find that fine line of where the teacher would get a little too mad. And after many trials and errors, we can conclude as a class that we have mastered where that line is, exactly how to cross it, and most importantly, how to get a good laugh out of all of it. 
With that, we learned that you, Beckman Catholic, are more than where we make some of the best memories of our lives, um, some of which we probably shouldn't be telling our parents after the fact. As we moved on from junior high and moved into high school, we soon realized that high school was different. Classes had meaning to our GPA, and what we did on, from now on could really affect our future. We also started our first real high school classes. They were getting a lot harder than junior high and challenged us to use our minds in ways that we had never before. Soon we realized that you were more than just a school, but rather a place where we were going to grow in intelligence and prepare ourselves for future studies. As we moved up the, way of, or up the ladder of high school, we found that sports, activities, and academics were getting harder and required more time and energy. Some of them we had to let go, but in others, we pursued with more passion and ended up finding lots of success. Also, we began to, put, began to further develop our faith through all the theology classes and spiritual opportunities. We began to question, reason, and work more in class to strengthen our beliefs. Ultimately, ultimately, we learned that you, Beckman Catholic, are more than just a regular school, but one that allows us to build up our faith and make us better young men and women in the eyes of Christ. Finally, we move on to senior year of high school. It was by far one of the greatest years of our lives. We were the leaders of the school and learned to carry on the traditions by shaping the younger students. We also had some of our favorite memories, like screaming our heads off for a week down in Cedar Rapids at State Volleyball. We eventually ended, up some of our, eventually ended some of our activities and experienced the first of our lasts. We moved on though and continued our journey. That was until we all know today would be the last normal days of our life for a long time. Out of nowhere, our senior year got canceled. We sat in lockdown for weeks, wondering if we would ever go back. Eventually we got some answers, but we ended up having to settle for an online class in a shortened semester, something none of us had prepared for. The rest of those last of senior year were canceled and some of the opportunities we lost forever. However, we learned quite possibly the most important lesson of our lives. Never to take a moment for granted and nothing is guaranteed, not even the next school day. With all of this and after many years, we finally understood who and what you are, Beckman Catholic. You are more than just a building or a school, but rather you are a community of students, teachers, staff, and community members coming together to teach and shape the minds of us young adults so that we can have an opportunity to become the best version of ourselves academically, socially, and spiritually. As we continue on our journey, we hope to continue the tradition and come back to further growth, further growth of the future generations of Blazers, just like the classes before us. However, the class of 2020 will be a little bit different compared to those former grades. We not only are going to be the year with the messed up final semester and graduation, but we will be missing a piece of our time here with you, Beckman Catholic. That hole in our hearts will be an everlasting reminder for us to live and act like the young adults that you taught us to be. We will forever be a part of you, and for that we'd like to thank you, Beckman Catholic, for the best years of our lives and all the lessons learned inside and out of the classroom. Sincerely, Beckman Catholic High School, Class of 2020. Evan and Sean, thank you very much. Members of the Board of Education dedicate countless hours to Beckman Catholic High School. Members include pastoral coordinator, Father Dennis Quint of the Spires of Faith Cluster, Father Tyler Raymond, President Janet Stalkin, Vice President Greg Raker, Secretary Tammy Marbach, Jim Goldsmith, Rosemary Hermson, and Kristen Gedkin. Please join me in recognizing and thanking the members of our Board of Education. We did ask faculty to, in terms of keeping numbers down to uh, not come today, but we know that some of them are still here and we appreciate those who did and understand that those who are, home, are, are at home today watching or had other commitments. But at this time, would those who are present on the faculty and staff please stand? Along with your parents, graduates, these individuals have been instrumental in helping you make it to today. I'm very fortunate to be able to work with a group of dedicated individuals 
who strive to help students succeed in all aspects of their lives. On their behalf, students, I want you to know that we are all very proud of you. Thank you for all the gifts you have given to us. Today, I especially want to recognize Mr. Ryan Deverex, Mrs. Crystal Smith, and Ms. Stacy Spear. These individuals will be moving into new opportunities, and we thank them for their years of dedicated service to our students. Mrs. Cates, as well, will be retiring from Beckman Catholic after working with us for the last 16 years. We thank all of them for sharing their time, talents, and gifts with all of us. At this time, I would ask Mrs. Crystal Smith, Beckman graduate of the class of 2006 and a member of our faculty to please come forward to share reflections and thoughts for the class of 2020 on behalf of the Beckman Catholic faculty and staff. Hello everybody, as Mr. K said, my name is Crystal Smith and I have been the choir director here at Beckman for the last seven years. Um, and I can remember vividly the very first baccalaureate mass that I attended as a faculty member when they introduced the teacher speaker. I remember thinking, oh dear Lord, I hope they never pick me. And you guys caught me on my way out. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, even though I did only have about a third of you graduates as students, in many ways, you and I have a lot in common. After today, we'll be finished with our time at Beckman, and we will begin our life's journey beyond these walls. We will not see each other on a regular basis. We will not have the guidance or tutelage of our friends and mentors. And all too soon, all we will have left is the memory of this place and these people. As I walk the halls one last time today, memories of my time here both as a student and a faculty member overwhelmed me. I can remember as a student, um, one semester failing Mr. Carroll's math class because I blame the fact that he sat me and my best friend next to each other and we both failed. It could just be that I really am that bad at math, I seriously am, but I like to blame the fact that he put me and my best friend together. <laughs> Um, I remember when two of my friends were um, horsing around and they stole somebody's cell phone and they were running around the halls and one of them slipped and fell and chipped his two front teeth really bad and that divot would still be in the floors if they didn't re resurface the floors a few years ago. Um, I remember when I met my now husband in a PE class when he was trying to show off and use his best athletic abilities in class. Something must have worked, we're still together, I don't know. <laughs> um, I also remember crying hysterically after my senior year choir concert because I just didn't want those moments to ever end. The relationships I made here, the lessons I learned here, and the memories that I have because of this place is just one small reason as to why I returned as a faculty member. And while teaching here, I remember some awesome memories. Um, one more recently, um, I must have made some silly mistake in class because somebody very bravely shouted, check your facts, woman. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I also remember over my first year teaching, I remember overhearing two sophomore girls complaining that they wouldn't have a date to homecoming. And um, they started talking more about their faith. And one girl said, oh my gosh, I know the perfect guy. Wouldn't it just be awesome if I could just marry Jesus? I think that would just be amazing. And the other girl said, you know, you can just become a nun. And then one other student said, that's actually a really cool idea. I should look into that. And I just remember being so inspired by their faith and the fact that they weren't ashamed of that conversation and their love for Christ was just that deep. Um, sorry, um, I remember when I returned to teach after my long maternity leave this fall, and I made countless mistakes in the classroom and the lessons just, it was a really tough transition, and my students were very supportive and loving. They would say things like, it's your first mistake, don't worry about it, first mistake all year. It's okay, you're new here, aren't you? It's fine. So I just, I really appreciated that love and support going through um, that difficult transition for me. So you guys, I hope you realize this place is special. These people are irreplaceable. And what we stand for here is unshakable. But in thinking back to my time as a student here, there are a few things that I really wish someone would have told me um, that maybe would have helped me through. Gosh, you guys, at 18 years old, I really thought I had all, my life all figured out. Um, but I also assumed that when I graduated from here, that it was okay to leave what I learned here behind. 
And to think that I'll have the freedom to do what I want, when I want, no more PE class, no more listening to certain teachers, and no more forced time with God. I remember that one. It's really embarrassing for me to even admit that. But when I graduated from here, I also thought that I graduated from my faith. I considered myself to be finished with learning about God and our faith, and I assumed I, I knew all I needed to know about Catholicism since I completed 12 years of Catholic education. I even went on to continue my education at a Catholic school. Every day I walked by that chapel at Clark College, and the doors are always open to the chapel, inviting passerbys in, and I'm just like, I'll go there sometime. I'll go there when I feel like it. Nobody's making me go now. It's really sad to say how quickly I had fallen away from my faith simply because I wasn't told what I should be doing. I was a checkbox Catholic, if you will. I only did what I had to. Please, guys, if you can take one thing away from my speech, let it be that you don't do that when you finish from here, that you are not finished learning about your faith or turning to God or praying on a regular basis. It is so crucial to think that, um, it is so crucial that you remember to keep God at the center of it all. I came across a quote while preparing for this talk, and it was from Denzel Washington. He said, I may not have always stuck with God, but God has always stuck with me. And I think that's something we can all relate to. At some point in our lives, we kept God a little closer than at other times. Things really changed for me when I started teaching here, though. Like I mentioned earlier, I was really inspired by the level of faith that I witnessed in my students every day. I was even challenged one year to defend our faith to one student who was really who was dealt a really difficult life situation and for some reason they confided in me with their struggles. That student continually asked why it was that God allowed bad things to happen to good people. And in order to give that student reassurance that God is love and that God's grace does not just skip over some people, I had to really dig deep. I found myself listening to priests' podcasts, YouTube videos, and reading um, articles online just to find better answers and guidance for the student. I was praying so much more and with my entire heart. I started to attend daily Mass just to learn more from the Gospels and to feel comforted by the grace of God in the Eucharist. It was honestly because of that challenging question that my student presented to me that my faith was rekindled. And since then, my faith has just continued to grow exponentially, and I am eternally grateful. Please don't wait until you are challenged to defend your faith to believe in God. Please don't wait until you're on your deathbed and you wonder if Jesus Christ will be there to welcome you into heaven. Love God now and always and with all of your heart. So even though most of you have also had 12 years of a Catholic education, don't assume you know all there is to know about your faith. Keep an open heart and an open mind, and your love for Christ will continue to grow. Just because you're graduating from Beckman, I hope you don't have the mindset that you don't have to take theology classes, that you don't have to go to daily mass on Thursdays, and that you don't have to pray before each class or activity. Faith isn't a have to. It's an I get to. It's an I'm blessed with. It's an I have the gift of the grace of God, and I will not be ashamed of it. I so badly wish I had been told that at your age, or if I was told, I wish I had listened. Never ever be ashamed of your faith, and don't be afraid to pray in public settings. Actually, one of my favorite teaching memories um, from here was from a few years ago, when I was taking students to audition for Allstate on a choir. It's actually a very tedious and scary thing to go through, and just as the group of students were being um, asked to come into the audition room, one of the students at the end said, no, you no, guys, come back, we, we need to pray first. And um, even though this is a very public setting, there were people everywhere. The person ushering us in was like, come on, we got to get going. My students still felt the need to circle up, hold hands, and say a prayer before going into that room. And I have never been more proud of something that um, my students took the initiative of doing. Um, something else that I wish I would have been told at your age is that what you want in life will probably change. While music has been a major definitive role in my life, it's kind of about to change for me. My focus has been centered on music since I was 10 years old, and all of a sudden my path in life is kind of starting to take a little turn so that I can focus my time and attention on my family. I'm letting go of my teaching music so that I may have more time with my four young children, and while it was an extremely difficult decision at the time, I know it's what's best for me and my family. You guys, your ideals in life will change. 
If you're afraid, pray about it. Be calm in the storm and listen for God's voice. I felt his calling to return to Beckman as a teacher, and it's been nothing but a blessing these past seven years. But then I heard his voice again this winter, and I felt him tugging at my heartstrings, telling me this new career opportunity is what he wants me to do. You better believe I challenged that voice. You better believe I had doubts. You better believe that I prayed long and hard about that massive change because it's scary. Change is scary. The fear of the unknown will knock you down at some point in your life, but the love and grace of God will always be there to catch you and put you back on your feet. I actually started my new position last week already, and my husband has already heard me share a few concerns, like, I don't know, did I make the right choice? But then I turned to a moment of prayer and already felt calmed and reassured that, yes, I did. You guys let God in. Let God speak to you and overcome all your fears. So while your path in life will have many unexpected twists and turns, remember that God is with you every step of the way. Remember to find that what God has shaped you for, even if it's different from your original plans, and give your whole heart to it. I have faith that you will continue to brighten the lives of others. Thank you for being you and for all that you do. I love you all so, so much. Congratulations, class of 2020. At this time, we will begin the awards portion of today's festivities. As each award is presented, we ask for the graduate being recognized to please stand at your place. You will receive your plaque or certificate with your graduate packet following the ceremony. First award will be the Iowa State Bar Association Outstanding Citizen Award. The American Bar Award recipient was selected as a student who has consistently demonstrated the qualities and characteristics essential to good citizenship. It recognizes civic awareness, leadership, and community service. The student was chosen by the staff of Beckman Catholic. The 2020 Iowa State Bar Association American Citizenship Award is presented to Sean Kleesner. The Archbishop Beckman Award began 22 years ago through a donation by Keith Deitmeyer. The award winner is someone who, in the judgment of the faculty, exemplifies the qualities of outstanding citizenship and character. The 2020 Archbishop Beckman Award recipient is Catherine Grebner. <laughs> Ask Mr. Troutman, our activities director, please come forward for the next awards. First award I have to give this afternoon is the Beckman Distinguished Athlete Award. That award is given to one male and one female athlete in the senior class who exhibit personal traits of courage, poise, self-confidence, and leadership while also excelling in their fields of play. Each recipient will receive a $1,500 scholarship to be used for college tuition. This year's male recipient is lettered in football, where he was chosen to represent Beckman in the Shrine Bowl, in wrestling, where he placed fifth as a senior, and in track and field where he qualified for state meet in nine events, placing in the top three seven times, finishing with three runner-up and two state championship titles. He's still a member of the 2A state record sprint medley relay team. Congratulations to Evan Wolfcool. This year's female recipient was lettered in volleyball where she was chosen as a third team all state selection in basketball, where she was an honorable mention all-conference selection, in track, and in soccer. Congratulations to Paige McDermott. <laughs> Next is the United States Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award. The United States Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete is awarded to a distinguished varsity male and female athlete who clearly demonstrated his or her best efforts to excel in all areas of physical fitness and athletic competition. This year's male recipient earned varsity letters in basketball, where he was a first team All-State selection, in soccer, 
and then track and field where he was a state qualifier in the long jump and a two-time state qualifier in the high jump, playing fourth his junior, placing fourth his junior year. Congratulations to Michael Keegan. This year's female recipient has earned varsity letters in volleyball, where she earned honorable mention all-conference honors in basketball, in track, and in soccer, where she was a second team all-conference selection. Congratulations to Ashley Engelkin. The United States Marine Corps also gives a Scholastic of Excellence Award. That award is designed to recognize distinguished high school students for academic achievement and leadership as a high school scholar. Candidates are exemplary young citizens and role models for other students. Congratulations to this year's winner, Caitlin Gedkin. The Mercy One Jean Cleasner Memorial Scholarship goes to an individual who plans to become a nurse. The applicants were asked why they wanted to become a nurse in honor of Jean Cleasner, who this scholarship is in memory of, and this year's scholarship has been awarded to Colleen Wente. The Duane Ott Teal Memorial Scholarship is provided to one Beckman Catholic senior in the amount of $2,500. Duane was a former Beckman grad who had outstanding work ethic, interpersonal skills, technical expertise, and personality development. Duane was someone who inspired many and was a light to all that met her. The student who will be receiving this scholarship has many characteristics that echo Duane. Although the family did not know this prior to picking out the winner, the recipient watched Jess's, the daughter of Duane's girls, the day of her mother's funeral. When the selection was over, they all stated that it must have meant to be. It is my pleasure to award the Duane Ott Teal Memorial Scholarship to Cambry Willenbrink. The Chaplain Jim Burley Hansel Memorial Scholarship is a scholarship that goes to an individual who has a United States military affiliation. Individuals were to write an essay about what the American flag and freedom meant to them. Congratulations to Rachel Herbers, this year's scholarship winner. Dubuque County Right to Life Scholarship is a nonprofit educational organization dedicated to preserving and fostering a respect for all human life from the moment of conception to natural death and every moment in between. They educate the public on the dangers of abortion, euthanasia, and infanticide, along with other life issues. Dubuque County Right to Life began awarding this scholarship to high school seniors in 2011 as a way to encourage students to live out their pro-life beliefs on the college campus. Applicants demonstrated leadership and conviction in the pro-life movement, logged many hours of service to the cause of protecting human life, and participated in an extensive speech contest facing a panel of judges. This year, four recipients were from Beckman Catholic. It's my honor to present the following scholarship to Adam Schmidt, Katherine Grebner, Abby Klosterman, and Nicole Wolf. The Maloney Nursing Foundation Scholarship was established in 2015 to support local people interested in pursuing a nursing career. The foundation awards a $2,500 scholarship to two students each year. Congrat congratulations to one of this year's winners, Paige McDermott. The Delaware County Pork Scholarship is based on the following. The applicant must be a high school senior that is a resident of Delaware County, enrolling in a two or four year accredited college or university, pursuing a career in ag or a related field, and maintain a 3.0 or higher G GPA. To encourage the promotion of pork production, Delaware County pork producers have chosen to award five scholarships in the county this year. We are happy to award one of these scholarships to Aaron Knipper. The American Red Cross Blood Drive Scholarship is presented to an American Red Cross volunteer between the ages of 14 and 24 who has volunteered with the Red Cross 
and served in the leadership capacity. The following Beckman students have been awarded scholarships. Aaron Bonert, Riley Fangman, Caitlin Gedkin, Abby Klosterman, Paige McDermott, Olivia Pierce, Jacob Sadler, Emily Wolfkolt, and Anna McAuliffe. Congratulations. The Board of Directors of Dupaco Community Credit Union is pleased to announce that the following Beckman Catholic High School student has been named a $2,000 Dupaco R.W. Hafer Foundation College Scholarship. The recipient was selected based upon a high degree of academic excellence, extracurricular involvement, and drive for self-improvement. Congratulations to Sean Kleesner. The Regional Medical Auxiliary Center Scholarship is giving a $750 scholarship to an individual going into the healthcare profession. This year, they have chosen a student from Beckman Catholic. Congratulations to Paige McDermott. We'll now move into department awards, and uh, I'll be reading some of these and asking staff to come forward as well. So the first ones we have are our drama awards. From the fall play, best leading actress, Abby Klosterman. Best leading actor, Griffin Regner. Best supporting actor, Clay Carton. Outstanding performer, Michael Fobb. And hardest worker, Katherine Grebner, Lauren Goldsmith, and Caitlin Gebkin, student directors. Even though we had just a uh, preview of the spring musical, awards were also given by the musical staff. Best leading actress, Paige McDermott. Best leading actor, Jacob Sadler. Best supporting actress, Anna McAuliffe. Best supporting actor, Clay Carton. Outstanding performer, Griffin Ranger. Artist worker, Katherine Grebner, Lauren Goldsmith, and Caitlin Gedkin. At this time, I'd ask Mrs. Smith to present the Music Department Awards. So Ms. Spear was unable to be here today, so I'm gonna begin with her band awards. Each year, the band gives three different awards to deserving seniors, the Louis Armstrong Award, the Semper Fidelis Award, and the John Philip Sousa Award. The recipient of the Louis Armstrong Award is given to a senior who excelled in areas of jazz. The student has contributed positively to the jazz band and has not been afraid to take risks with this genre of music. The senior has consistently been confident with their music and has taken risks with solos. The senior earning this award today has led the group with their high caliber musical abilities. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Louis Armstrong Award, Michael Fogg. The Semper Fidelis Award is presented to a senior who displays traits that the Marine Corps considers essential to being a good leader. Endurance, knowledge, unselfishness, dependability, enthusiasm, and loyalty. The senior receiving this award has embraced every single one of these traits consistently and has earned the respect of their classmates by doing so. This person's leadership has helped the band grow in more ways than just musical ways and this person has served as a positive role model to all students in band. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Semper Fidelis Award, Sophia Smith. The John Philip Sousa Award is considered to be the pinnacle of achievement in high school band. This award goes to a senior who has displayed outstanding musicianship and outstanding leadership skills in all aspects of band. 
This person has consistently been attentive of their, whole, of their own musical success and has put in the work necessary to achieve great things musically. This person also has been consistently attentive to the musical needs of those within the band and has helped to lead their peers to success. This person is without a doubt in my mind a natural leader and a natural musician. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the John Philip Sousa Award, Griffin Reitinger. And there are two choir awards to present this year, the Outstanding Senior Vocalist Award and the Iowa Choral Directors Association for Outstanding Musicianship. To determine the recipient of the Outstanding Senior Vocalist Award, I reflect on the participation, goals, and achievements of all senior choir members. This is awarded to one student who has exceeded any expectation of a high school vocalist. This year's recipient is the epitome of, what, of someone who eats, sleeps, breathes, and lives music. It is a part of their everyday life. The student never hesitates to sing and they are always willing to share their God-given talents and a, a very high quality level of performance. Whether that be at an additional national anthem performance, cantering at mass, filling in for an absent soloist, or signing up to participate in every single choir-related activity and event offered. It is with great pleasure to present this award to Anna McAuliffe. When reviewing the level of participation and achievements of our senior choir members, it is easy to list a number of students who meet the provided ICDA criteria and expectations. Therefore, I had to be extremely picky and select a student who truly goes above and beyond for the choirs, demonstrates superior musical knowledge, and provides unparalleled leadership in and out of the choirs. The selected student has been chosen to receive this award as they have grown tremendously in their musical knowledge, talent, and techniques from their time in all the choirs, honor choirs, and self-teaching. I am pleased to grant the Iowa Choral Directors Association Award for Outstanding Musicianship to Elizabeth McGrain. This year, the English department recognizes Caitlin Gebkin. Caitlin has impressed her English teachers with her desire to learn, dedication to her writing craft, and integrity in her approach to language. Thank you, Caitlin. God bless you as you pursue your education degree from the English department. Also been asked to announce the speech department award. This individual has been in speech a number of years uh, and has worked very hard at it, both in the speech program and also in the FFA program. And we can give that speech department award to Ms. Abby Klosterman. <laughs> Mr. Troutman, come forward for the science department award. First award I'll give is the Science Department Award. Each year the science faculty has the difficult job of selecting the recipient of the Science Department Award. In addition to having taken all upper level science courses and excelling in these courses, this year's recipient has also been involved in conducting and presenting his research at several science fairs throughout the state. He presented research at the State Science and Engineering Fair of Iowa, the Junior Science and Humanities Symposium, and was an Eastern Iowa Science and Engineering Fair finalist. Congratulations to the 2020 Science Department Award winner, Sean Kleesner. I also have an award by the Iowa Academy of Science Outstanding Science Student Award. This designation is awarded to one senior com completing a minimum of eight semesters of science in high academic standing and actively involved in science activities outside of the classroom. This student participated in numerous academic competitions throughout high school at the local, state, and national level. The 2020 OSSA Award is presented to Sean Kleesner. From Mrs. Cates, Buenos Dias. Congratulations to all this year's class of 2020. I'm honored to present the Foreign Language Award to a senior who has studied Spanish diligently for all four years of high school as well as a person who practices Spanish inside and outside of the traditional classroom setting. This year's recipient excels in reading and speaking Spanish. She used her knowledge of Spanish to serve others in the community by working at the Lantern Center in downtown Dubuque. I am proud to announce this year's recipient of the Foreign Language Award is Nicole Wolf.
On behalf of the Social Studies Department uh, and Mr. Corey, I'd like to present the Social Studies Department Award to an individual who intends to continue his studies uh, in the Social Studies field, and that's Mr. Michael Fobb. And on behalf of the Math Department, this year's Math Department Award is given to an individual who we've heard a little bit about today in terms of their goals with engineering and science, and that's Mr. Sean Kleesner. Mr. Wade will now present the Art Department Awards. Good afternoon. Uh, each year the Art Department gives an award to students who show uh, excellence in their craft as well as dedication to the Art Department. Um, and this year we have two recipients. Um, they were both outstanding in their work and effort. Um, they were great role models for many other students um, and very dedicated to the department, always willing to step up and help out. And this year's recipients are Rachel Herbers and Colleen Wente. The Industrial Arts Award is presented annually to a student that has taken all four years of shop and metal courses. The senior also went above and beyond to make the junior high exploratory courses with large class sizes as assessed by mentoring students. In addition, he conquered an extremely large project as a senior. Your 2020 Outstanding Industrial Arts student is Chandler Hager. The Agricultural Accomplishment Award is presented annually to an outstanding ag student that plans to continue a career in agriculture. The student has participated in a variety of FFA activities on all levels and served as president as a senior. Congratulations to Lauren Goldsmith. I would now ask Mr. Jerry McGrain to come forward for the Servant Leader Award. The Beckman Catholic Servant Leader Award is given to the student or students who demonstrate leadership through service, specifically through service to the campus ministry program here at Beckman Catholic. This year's recipients are Catherine Grebner and Sophia Smith. Now ask Mr. Troutman to come up for a few additional awards. First award is the Bernie Sago Award. This award was instituted by the Iowa High School Athletic Association in honor of the Executive Director, Mr. Bernie Sago. It's presented annually to the graduating senior who exemplifies a patriotic spirit with strong religious and moral convictions, living and professing the qualities of honesty, integrity, and sportsmanship, believing that both games and life should be conducted by the rules. This year's recipient is Chloe Youngs. The Iowa Girls High School Athletic Association awarded each qualifying school in the state volleyball tournament a scholarship for a senior volleyball player to be used for college tuition. The Beckman recipient this year is Ashley Angleton. Finally, Victory Forward is awarding a couple of scholarships. The first is the Victory Forward Fueling Your Education Scholarship. This was designed to reward an individual for excellence in the classroom and beyond while honoring involvement and model work ethic. All applicants are graded on their cover letter, resume, and panel interview. This year's recipient embodies all that we can hope for in our future businessmen and women, leaders, and members of the community. Not only do they possess the qualities of what a leader should be, they're also working hard in the community and at home to better themselves and their peers. Being involved takes great time management and the ability to balance all demands in life. Congratulations to Aaron Boner, Victory Forge 2020, fooling your future. Finally, Victory Forward Fueling the Dream Scholarship selection is based on hard work, leadership, school involvement, and academics. Only those chosen as Victory Forge Athlete of the Month were able to apply. This year's Athlete of the Year has shown to be all the listed traits and more. 
Her dedication to everything she does, schoolwork, athletics, and volunteer work are unmatched. With all that she does, time management skills are a necessity. When we think of the future and what it might hold, we're put at ease knowing young adults like her lead the way. Please join us in congratulating the 2020 Victory Fords Fueling the Dream Athlete of the Year Scholarship and the recipient of $1,000 to Paige McDermott. The Mercy One Medical Center Dubuque Nursing Scholarship chooses a recipient based on ACT scores, GPAs, letters of recommendation, a personal essay, and volunteer activities. In addition, they must be accepted into college with a plan of studying nursing. This year's Mercy One Medical Center of Dubuque is pleased to present the 2020 scholarship to Paige McDermott. Due to the National Honor Society ceremony being canceled this year, we would like to recognize a new member of the National Honor Society. In order to become a member of the NHS chapter, students must represent the four pillars of service, character, leadership, and scholarship. It's a pleasure to welcome Joshua Engler into the 2020 NHS chapter. Congratulations. The Delaware County Cattlemen Scholarship is presented to two students who have been involved in the family beef business or have their own interest in the beef business. The recipients for this year's Delaware County Cattlemen Scholarship are Aaron Boner and Aaron Knipper. And lastly, the President's Award for Educational Excellence. The criteria for this award include earning a minimum 85th percentile on the math or reading section of the ACT and a 3.5 or higher cumulative grade point average. The recipients will receive a congratulatory letter from President Trump and Betsy DeVos, the Secretary of Education. And I would ask that you would hold your applause until all names are read. And these are in no particular order. Sean Kleesner, Elizabeth McGreen, Ashley Engelkin, Anna McAuliffe, Adam Schmidt, Peyton Tonkey, Riley Fangman, Evan Schlarman, Caitlin Gedkin, Abby Klosterman, Michael Fobb, Sophia Smith, Katherine Grebner, Evan Wolfkuhl, Griffin Reitinger, Paige McDermott, Cambry Willenbring, Lauren Goldsmith, Haley Wedower, Joshua Engler, and Alyssa Altoff. Now we're at the moment that you've been waiting for. Mr. Debricks, our associate principal, will introduce the graduating class of 2020. Conferring the diplomas with me will be our pastoral coordinator, Father Dennis Quint. It is a tradition here at Beckman Catholic that no special applause be given as individuals are introduced. Over the years, this request has brought phone calls, emails, and conversations to the office with myself and my predecessor, Impressing people, there are still places where public respect and discourse are present. Even in this odd year, it is a tradition that we would like to continue for years to come. With that in mind, we ask that all applause be held until the end so that all students receive their proper acknowledgement. Parents, as your student, as your child is, is brought forward or called, please come forward so that you can take photos. Please do that as we go through. What we will do is we'll introduce each student individually. We'll ask students that you come up to receive your diploma, and then we'll call the next person. So instead of lining up, it'll be one person at a time. Um, and we'll be announcing the other awards that your sons or daughters have received that we have not recognized yet today. Mr. Derex. Alyssa Michelle Altoff. In addition to the award she received earlier today, she also received a Beckman Academic Letter, a Beckman Diploma, and she plans on attending the University of Northern Iowa. Erin Boner. In addition to the awards she received earlier today, she will also be receiving the Dubuque Area Youth Leadership Council, the Delaware County Cattlemen Scholarship, 
the Delaware County 4-H Foundation Scholarship. She's a member of National Honor Society. She received the Beckman Academic Letter, an Iowa FFA degree, an FFA Star in Ag Networking, a Beckman Diploma, and she will attend Hawkeye Community College. Mitchell Brandt, in addition to receiving a Beckman Diploma, he will also be entering the U.S. Air Force upon graduation. Will John Brain. Will is a member of the National Honor Society. He will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter and he will attend Iowa State University. Christy Lynn Brees. Christy will be receiving an Iowa State University True Scholarship, Dubuque County Farm Bureau Scholarship, World Food Prize Scholarship, Maria Roberts Scholarship, Paul Doak Agricultural Business Recruiting Scholarship, Dubuque Area Youth Leadership Council. She's a member of the National Honor Society, and she will also get a Beckman Academic Letter and a Beckman Diploma. She will be attending Iowa State University. Clay Thomas Carden. Clay will receive a Beckman Academic Letter in addition to a Beckman Diploma, and he will attend Kirkwood Community College. Allison Dang is unable to be with us today. She will be attending Drake University. Garrett Keith Davis. Garrett will be receiving the last dollar scholar a Beckman Diploma, and will attend Kirkwood Community College. Cole Kevin Domeyer. Cole will be receiving a Beckman Diploma and entering the workforce. Ashley Marie Engelken. She will be receiving the University of Northern Iowa Impact Award. She's a member of the National Honor Society, and she will receive a Beckman Academic Letter and also a Beckman Diploma. She will attend the University of Northern Iowa. Joshua Paul Engler. Josh will be receiving a University of Northern Iowa Impact Award, the Beckman Academic Letter, a Beckman Diploma, and he will be attending the University of Northern Iowa. Bennett Stephen English. Bennett will be receiving a Beckman Diploma, and he will be attending the University of Northern Iowa. Riley Robert Fangman. Riley will be receiving the Niall Kinnick Scholarship, the Newman Church Scholarship. He's a member of the National Honor Society and has received a Beckman Academic Letter. Riley will be attending the University of Iowa. Mary Patrick Gein Gallagher. She will be receiving the VGM Scholarship and a Beckman Diploma. She will be attending Iowa State University. Caitlin Rose Gedkin. Caitlin will be a recipient of the Benjamin J. Allen Endowed Teacher Education Scholarship, the Iowa FFA degree, the FFA Star in Ag Science, the Delaware County 4-H Food Stand Scholarship, she is a member of the Dubuque Area Youth Leadership Council and the National Honor Society. She is a recipient of the Sister Mary Claire Award, and she received a Beckman Academic Letter. She will be attending the University of Northern Iowa. Luke Michael Gedkin. Luke is a recipient of the Beckman Academic Letter, and he is a member of National Honor Society, and he will be attending Kirkwood Community College. Lauren Nicole Goldsmith. She is a recipient of the Chris Fish Kuhlman Legacy Scholarship, the Global Resource Systems Scholarship, the Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Iowa, the Conservation Districts of Iowa Scholarship, Delaware County 4-H Food Stand Scholarship, DeKalb Agricultural FFA Accomplishment Award, the 
daughter of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award. She's a member of the National Honor Society, and she will also be a recipient of the Dave Knipper Scholarship and the Beck and a Beckman Academic Letter, and she will attend Iowa State University. Catherine Rose Brevner. Catherine will be receiving an Iowa State University Loyal Scholarship, the John Wesley Cole and Ida Cole Agricultural Scholarship. She's a member of the National Honor Society. She will receive a Beckman Academic Letter, an Iowa FFA degree, the Beckman Campus Ministry Award, the Sister Mary Claire Award, and a Beckman Diploma. She will attend Iowa State University. Jordan Renee Helling. She will receive a University of Northern Iowa scholarship, a Beckman academic letter. She is a member of the National Honor Society, and she will receive the Farm First Dairy Cooperative Scholarship. She will also receive a Beckman diploma, and she will be attending the University of Northern Iowa. Chandler Hager. In addition to the Beckman Industrial Tech Award, he will be receiving a Beckman Diploma, and he plans to enter the workforce. Austin Yeager. Austin will be receiving the FFA Star in Ag Business, and a Beckman Diploma, and his plans upon graduation will be entering the workforce. Sorry, this is a lot to read. Rachel Herbert, you, Rachel will be uh, receiving an Iowa State True Scholar. She's a member of the National Honor Society. She will receive the Beckman Academic Letter, the Beckman Diploma, and she will attend Iowa State University. Thomas Arthur Yeager. Tom Miss will be uh, receiving a St. Ambrose Academic Scholarship, a St. Ambrose Soccer Scholarship, a Beckman Diploma, and he will attend St. Ambrose University. Michael Keegan. Michael will be receiving the Washburn University Athletic Scholarship, the Catholic Parish Scholarship, a Beckman Diploma, and he will attend Washburn University. Abby Klosterman. Abby will be receiving the Star Blend Scholarship, the Top of the Class Scholarship, Patterson Foundation Scholarship, an Iowa FFA degree, an FFA Star in Ag Communications, a Beckman Academic Letter. She's a member of the National Honor Society, and she will be receiving a Beckman Diploma. She plans to attend Iowa State University. Sean William Kleesner. Sean is the 2020 Catholic Valedictorian. He will be receiving an Iowa State School of Engineering Merit Scholarship, an Iowa State Loyal Scholarship, an Equitable Excellence Scholarship, a Lion Energy Innovation Scholarship, Iowa Bio SSTFI Scholarship. He's a member of the Dubuque Area Youth Leadership Council and the National Honor Society. He received the Beckman Academic Letter, uh, the FFA Star in Agri Science, Top of the Class Scholarship, Sister Mary Claire Award, KWWL Best of Class, his Academic All State, uh, the World Food Prize Iowa Youth Institute, the Bell and Blank Award. He will also receive a Beckman Diploma and attend Iowa State University. Aaron Knipper. Aaron will be receiving the Leaders for Tomorrow Scholarship, the Delaware County Cattlemen Scholarship, the Robert E. Hall Memorial 4-H Scholarship, the Farm Bureau Scholarship, FFA Star and Ag Placement, and a Beckman Diploma. He will be attending Kirkwood Community College. Haley LeBrand. Haley will be receiving the Beckman Academic Letter. She is a member of the National Honor Society, and she will receive the Beckman Diploma, and she will attend Hawkeye Community College. Derek Ludwig. Derek will be receiving a Beckman Diploma, and he will be attending Kirkwood Community College. Anna Pauline McAuliffe. 
Anna will be receiving a Coyote Committee Scholarship, the Catholic Order of Foresters Fraternal Scholarship. She is a member of the National Honor Society. She was the outstanding senior vocalist, and she will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter and a Beckman Diploma. She will attend the University of South Dakota. Paige Marie McDermott. In addition to the awards previously listed today, Paige is also a member of the National Honor Society. She will be received, receiving a Beckman Academic Letter and a Beckman Diploma. She will attend the University of Northern Iowa. Elizabeth McGrain. Elizabeth will be re, uh, receiving the Mount Mercy President Scholarship, the Mount Mercy Scholarship Day Award, the Mount Mercy Vocal Music Scholarship, the Mount Mercy Catholic Education Scholarship, the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Seminar, a Beckman Academic Letter. She's a member of the Dubuque Area Youth Leadership Award. She received the Sister Mary Claire Award. She will also receive a Beckman Diploma, and she is going to attend Mount Mercy. Victor Leo Meyer. Victor is a recipient of the Last Dollar Scholar, and he will be also receiving a Beckman Diploma, and his plans are to attend Northeast Iowa Community College. Jacob Joseph Morrow. Jacob will receive the Coe College Academic Scholarship, and he will be receiving a Beckman Diploma, and his plans are to attend Coe College. Luke Joseph Olberty. Luke will be receiving the Last Dollar Scholarship. He is a member of the National Honor Society. He will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter and a Beckman Diploma, and he plans to attend Kirkwood Community College. Michael Aaron Fogg. He will be receiving the Iowa State Loyal Scholarship, the Beckman Academic Letter, He's a member of the National Honor Society, and he will be receiving a Beckman Diploma. He plans to attend Iowa State University. Olivia Rose Pierce. She is a member of National Honor Society. She has received a Beckman Academic Letter, and she will be receiving a Beckman Diploma, and she plans to attend the University of Northern Iowa. Gloria Rowan is not here today, but she, would she will receive the Beckman Diploma and attend Northeast Iowa Community College. Griffin Alexander Reiniger. He will be receiving the Gonzaga University Trustee Scholarship. He's a member of the National Honor Society and a recipient of a Beckman Academic Letter and a Beckman Diploma. He will attend Gonzaga University. Jacob Paul Sadler. Jacob will be receiving a Mount Mercy Vocal Scholarship and a Beckman Diploma, and his plans are to attend Mount Mercy. Evan Paul Schlarman. Evan is the 2020 Beckman Catholic Valedictorian. He is also the recipient of the World Food Prize Global Youth Institute, the World Food Prize Iowa Youth Institute Bor Borlaug Scholar, the Governor's Scholar Recognition, the Glory of the Census Scholarship, the Beckman Academic Letter. He is a member of National Honor Society, and he will receive a Beckman Diploma. He will attend Iowa State University. Isaac Jerome Schlarman. Isaac is an Eagle Scout. He will also receive uh, dollars for scholars scholarship and a Beckman Diploma. His plans are to attend Kirkwood Community College. Adam Jeffrey Schmidt. He will be receiving the Iowa State Forever Scholarship, the Farm Bureau Scholarship, the Dubuque County Soil and Water Conservation Scholarship, the Iowa Youth Institute Scholarship, the Global Youth Institute Scholarship, the Agronomy Teacher Scholarship, the Dubuque Area Youth Leadership Council membership. He will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter. He is a member of National Honor Society and he will receive a Beckman Diploma. His plans are to attend Iowa State University. Peyton Sophia Simon. Peyton will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter and also a Beckman Diploma, and she plans to attend Kirkwood Community College.
Sophia Elizabeth Smith. Sophia will be receiving the Mount Mercy Academic Scholarship, the Mount Mercy Scholarship Day Award, the Mount Mercy Music Scholarship, the Mount Mercy Catholic Education Grant, the Archdiocese of Dubuque Parish Award. She's a member of National Honor Society and the Dubuque Area Youth Leadership Council. She will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter and also a Beckman Diploma. She plans on attending Mount Mercy. Kylie Steffensmeyer. Kylie will be receiving a Beckman Diploma and she plans to attend Iowa State University. Joshua Michael Stelkin is unable to be here with us today. He will be receiving a Beckman Diploma and he will be entering the workforce. Peyton Matthew Tauke. Peyton will be receiving an American Legion Boy State Award, the Future, Future Leadership Scholarship, a Beckman Academic Letter, and a Beckman Diploma, and he will be attending Iowa Valley Community College. Olivia Taylor Thier. Olivia is a, a member of the National Honor Society. She will be receiving the Beckman Academic Letter, the USTA Scholarship, a Beckman Diploma, and she will be attending Iowa State University. Chloe Marie Unks. Chloe will be receiving the Iowa State True Scholar Scholarship, the, Beck the Beckman Academic Letter. She is a member of the National Honor Society. She will also be receiving a Beckman Diploma, and she will attend Iowa State University. Willem Ernest Vallant. William will be receiving a Beckman Diploma, and he will be attending Kirkwood Community College. Haley Josephine Wedower. Haley will be receiving a Columbia College Dean Scholar, Columbia College Faculty Recognition Award, Columbia Scholar Award, a Beckman Academic Letter, and a Beckman Diploma, and she will be attending Columbia College in Chicago. Colleen K. Wente. Colleen will be receiving an NICC Opportunity Scholarship, the Farm Bureau Scholarship, the Beckman Academic, Academic Letter, and a Beckman Diploma. She will be attending Northeast Iowa Community College. Adam Thomas Wessels. Adam is a member of the National Honor Society. He will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter and Beckman Diploma, and he will attend Iowa State University. Jack Roland Westoff. Jack will be receiving a University of Northern Iowa National Merit Scholarship, the Beckman Academic Letter, a Beckman Diploma, and he will attend the University of Northern Iowa. Cambry Sadler Willenbrink. Cambry is a member of the National Honor Society. She will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter, the American Legion Girls State Award, and a Beckman Diploma. She will attend Hawkeye Community College. Jada Marie Wills. She will be receiving the Drake University Athletic Scholarship, a Beckman Academic Letter, and a Beckman Diploma, and she will attend Drake University. Nicole Wolf. Nicole is a member of the National Honor Society. She will receive the Beckman Academic Letter and a Beckman Diploma, and she will be going to missionary with NET Ministries upon graduation. Emily Jo Wolfkohl. Emily will be receiving a Beckman Academic Letter, a Beckman Diploma, and she will be attending Iowa State University. Evan Michael Wolfkohl. Evan will be receiving the University of Iowa Academic Success Scholarship, the Beckman Academic Letter, the American Legion's Boys State Award, 
and a Beckman diploma. He will attend the University of Iowa. Wen Zing is not able to be with us today, but she will receive a Beckman diploma and will attend Michigan State University. Please join me in congratulating the Beckman Catholic Class of 2020. So graduates, if you're wondering, it's not a joke that your diploma's not in there. We don't ever put your diplomas in there so we don't mess them up. So when we finish today after you, we process out. Before you leave today, please turn in your gowns. Once you turn in your gowns, there's a packet of information. You'll receive your diplomas in there so you can put them into your jackets. Also, the awards that you receive today will be part of that packet as well. So at this point in time, I'd like to ask Father Dennis Quint, our pastoral coordinator, to lead us in closing prayer. I don't think all the graduates go to Iowa State and sit on the short bus of Beckman. Holy cow. And nobody's going to Iowa's oldest to premier Catholic college on the banks of the Mississippi. But congratulations to graduates. And to the millions of people watching at home through our live stream, thanks for tuning in and for your support of our young people, for your support of Beckman Catholic. Parents, as well, a word of gratitude to you for the sacrifices that you make in order to provide the best formation possible for these young people. Beckman Catholic named one of the top 50 Catholic high schools across the nation more than once, and we know that we have a bright future ahead because of graduates like you who now join that family, that community of graduates. So I'm jealous of you, uh, great formation in, in Catholicism and academics using your own kinds of skills outside the classrooms, and now look forward to hearing from you when you're engaged to Billy Bob or Susie Q. Looking forward to con celebrating with you at Mass for the first time when you're ordained a priest or hearing about your vows as a religious sister or nun or whatever journey life takes you on. This is a great place to call home the area parishes that we serve in Northeast Iowa, much to be proud of. Let's stand and ask for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Almighty God, your servant Isaiah in our first reading for Mass this weekend called us to be fruitful. Just as the rain and the snow come from the clouds for a purpose to bring fruitfulness to the earth, we thank you for your word, Jesus Christ, who came among us to initiate his kingdom. And for that word that has been wrapped around the hearts of these graduates for so many years, May that work continue to sustain them to be fruitful, yielding a harvest of 30 or 60 or 100 fold. Protect us, keep us safe and holy until one day you call us home among the community of the Holy Ones in heaven. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Our Lady Seat of Wisdom, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Father. As we conclude the ceremonies today, we will press up, process out of the gymnasium to the commons and surrounding areas. Um, we ask students that on your way out the door, you take a flower. There's a flower there for your parents. So please be sure to grab one and give that to them. Um, you're welcome to come outside to take photos. Just remember to bring your stuff back before you leave. Class of 2020, congratulations on your accomplishments. As the 54th graduating class, you have made us proud. We wish you all the best and we know you will do great things. May God bless you as you embark on the next stage of the journey of your lives and our thoughts or prayers are with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our newest alumni, the Beckman Catholic High School Class of 2020.